Korad Geopark. A geopark is one of three programs promoting the conservation of natural resources sponsored by UNESCO. The other two programs are the World Heritage Program with sites such as the Dong Peya Yin Kaoyai Forest Reserve and the Men and the Biosphere Program with sites such as Sagerad Biosphere Reserve. At present, although there are 147 UNESCO Global Geoparks in Thailand, namely Satun UNESCO Global Geopark in Southern Thailand. Korad Geopark is one of several geoparks in Thailand with the goal of becoming a global geopark. Korad Geopark covers five districts in Nakhon Ratchasima province from west to east, CQ, Sung Nern, Khan Thale Saw, Mueang Nakhon Ratchasima, and District. The area of the park is 3,167 square kilometers or approximately one sixth of the total area of Makan Ratasima province. Geologically, Korad Geopark represents part of the edge of the Korad Plateau with a landscape of Cuesta. From tectonic forces, the land was lifted to form a plateau and the rock layers were compressed and curved into the Korad Basin. This caused the rock layer terrain, with sediments being washed away by water and deposited in the lower line areas, thus reducing the landscape observed at present. To the east of the Cuesta in CQ and Sunern districts are undulating plains in Mueang deposits, in which there are regions with calcareous conglomerates exposed, or in an other contemporaneous animal in deposits approximately 110 million years old. The fossils include three genera of plant-eating Iguanodon dinosaur, Siamodon. Rasasima saurus and Sirintona, a meat eating cocorodontosaur dinosaur, a flying petrosaur, crocodiles, turtles, bony fish, freshwater shark, and various mollusks. In the basin area near the confluence of the Lam Dakhong and Moon River, in Tashang sub-district, Shalom Prakiyat district, are gravel and sand deposits approximately 60 meters thick. From investigation of deposits from a depth of 30 meters up to 5 meters below the surface, numerous fossils were found, including wood reptiles and mammals, ranging in age from 16 million to 10,000 years. Of special significance are fossils elephants, with the discovery of 55 genera of ancient elephants known worldwide, or 18% of the genera Gomphotherium, the small hole tusk Prodinotherium, shovel tusk Protonancus, the four tusk Tetralophodon, Stegolophodon, Cygolophodon. Large hole tusk, Dinotherium, Cynomastodon, Stegodon, and Eliphas. Shalom Hukyet, the district with the world's largest diversity of ancient elephant genera for other animals found together is a new species of the world. Asotherium, Popani, Koratithecus, Hippopotamus, Charlie Cather, Mary Copotamus, Hippopotamodon, short necked giraffes, Hipparion, ox, buffalo, sabre toothed tiger, snapping turtle, giant tortoise. A site in Muang district has yielded numerous fossils, including Stegodon, Eliphas, Hyena, and Gavials, additionally. 
in gravel terraces that were part of a river channel 800,000 years ago from Sungnan to Shalom Prakir districts. More than 50 species of fossilized wood have been found with great diversity of colors and shapes at the top and the foot of Khao Yai Tiang in CQ district. A nearby fossil conifer wood has been found from the age of the dinosaurs approximately 150 to 140 million years ago. The landscape and geological sites referred to have been integrally related to nature and culture in the Lam Da Khong Basin at least since 4,000 to 3,000 years ago or during the Neolithic period. Ancestors can be observed on cave walls at Khao Chan Ngam Cave on the slope of Khao Yai Tiang Cuesta in CQ district. At present, this area is both the site of dry evergreen forest and a center for the study of Dharma and education led by Lertsawat Temple, the local community and Ban Lertsawat School. There is evidence from Phnom Wan Son Sanctuary in Muang District that during the Bronze Age, 3000 to 2500 years ago, sediment from the Lam Da Kong Basin was used to produce Phnom Wan pottery and further evidence that the sediment was used in black Pimai ceramics during the Iron Age 2500 to 1500 years ago. Later, people from the Tawarawadi civilization and the Khmer Empire during the historical period used red bricks and white and red sandstones from quarries in CEQ and Sungnan district to build stone sanctuaries, cities, and a large reclining Buddha statue at that time. Communities were visible near the Lam Da Kong during later historical periods up to the present Thai Korat, Thai Isan, Thai Chinese, Thai Muslim, Thai Yuan and Thai Sikh peoples have lived throughout the Geopark region to region from the plain to the top of the Cuesta they used the wood resources from deciduous dipterocarp and dry evergreen forests to build houses in styles such as Korad style and Taiyuan style. At present, geotourism trails have been designed to allow exploration of the area. or tusk elephant route. Trail includes rafting along the Moon River and the Cuesta route. Trail brings one in touch with sandstone and the Lam Da Kong. Because of its natural heritage, Korad Geopark can be called the land of Cuesta and fossils. It has potential to be developed as UNESCO Global Geopark if Korad Geopark becomes a UNESCO Global Geopark. Then Thailand and Nakhon Ratasima province will become one out of three countries 
following South Korea and China in having one province awarded internationally. Status level in all three heritage and conservation programs of UNESCO, the Global Geopark Program, thus Nakha Rashasima Province would be regarded as the UNESCO Triple Crown.